South Korea's top nuclear negotiator, Wee Sung Lak, arrived in Beijing Tuesday to discuss North Korea's planned rocket launch with its Chinese counterpart. The topics are the missile problem and six party talks dealing with the North's nuclear weapons. North Korea says it will launch what it calls an experimental satellite between April 4th and April 8th. Pyongyang has warned the United States, Japan and their allies not to interfere with a launch. It says an intervention could cause the stalled six-party nuclear disarmament talks to break down. Many countries believe North Korea plans to use the launch to test its long-range ballistic missile capability. North Korea has tested ballistic missiles in the past. Top U.S. military commanders say the U.S. is probably capable of shooting down a North Korean missile. But a senior staff member on the U.S. Senate Foreign Relations Committee, Frank Januzzi, says Washington should not allow the impending launch to derail negotiations with Pyongyang to end its nuclear program. In a few weeks there will be a missile test. Uh, the Congress will want to react strongly. Uh, the administration will be tempted uh, to react very strongly uh, in concert with its Japanese and South Korean allies. Um, I would counsel that we not overreact. Uh, to this event. Januzzi, a Democrat, spoke at the Conservative Heritage Foundation in Washington. He said it is unrealistic to expect Pyongyang to abandon its nuclear ambitions unless it receives incentives in four areas. These include security assurances. Second, uh, political normalization, uh, essentially welcoming North Korea into the community of nations. Third, economic normalization, uh, end of sanctions uh, and a roadmap for economic relations uh, that would eventually lead them to uh, WTO membership down the road. And fourth, uh, aid and economic assistance, especially in the energy sector. Many Republicans oppose incentives to get Pyongyang to give up its nuclear program. Edward Burrier is a Republican and a staff member of a House subcommittee on nonproliferation. Inducements have only entrenched the regime and it has been the calibrated use of pressure, including financial, that has gotten us closer to long-term peace and security in Northeast Asia. A UN Security Council resolution bans North Korea from ballistic activity. Leita Hong Fincher, VOA News.